Hello guys, this video is for all those students who are in the honeymoon phase. Yes, the third year MBBS is often termed as the honeymoon phase because this is the most chillest year in your MBBS phase. And once you pass your second MBBS, which is so hectic with all, all the subjects like pharma, micro, patho, and suddenly when you enter third year MBBS, there are just four subjects. That is three minor subjects and a major subject. ENT, Ophthal, PSM and Forensic Medicine. And in some university, Forensic Medicine is covered in second year itself. But in majority of universities, Forensic Medicine is in third year. So in third year, you have just three short subject and one major subject. So that is pretty easy, right? Now, what books to refer for your third year subjects? For ENT, you can refer Dingra. For Ophthal, you can refer Parsons. PSM, there's only one book that is Park. And for Forensic, you can refer to Reddy's textbook of forensic medicine. So when to actually start preparing for prof exams? So the ideal time would be two months before your exam. But suppose your university exams are announced in January, then November would be the ideal time for you to start preparing. You, you need to give at least two months dedicated for these four subjects. So what happens is a lot of students try, once they finish the second MBBS, try to relax a bit. It is good even you have to relax during the MBBS phase, but you know third year, is also the ideal time to start for so you need PG preparation. Now, how do you approach this third year and prepare for your prof exams as well, for your final year as well, and also to start preparing for need PG? So you might have heard to a lot of your seniors or a lot of YouTube videos which says you have to prepare for need PG starting from the third year. And you have to start from the final year subjects, you have to you know complete the final year subjects before you enter the final year. And you need to start solving MCQs, you need to give GTs and whatnot. But hold on before you jump directly to the new PG prep. Third year is the time when you have to build a strong solid foundation and not merely just completing the subjects for the sake of need PG. Because I don't want you guys to make the same mistake I did. I just used to prepare for my final prof exams. I just used to read one month before the exam and pass my MBBS. And I understood the mistake when I gave my need PG for the first time. And my rank was 1.22 lakh. What I realized and what I want you to understand is the stronger your foundation, the easier your clinical subjects will become and the easier it is to crack need PG. So what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to start from the first year subjects or are you supposed to concentrate on the final year subjects first? And what is the most common mistake you guys do? And what mistake I had did which I don't want you to repeat is skipping the clinical postings or attending the clinical postings just to maintain that attendance. See the clinical posting which you have during your third year that is you will have medicine, surgery, OBG postings even in your third year as well. Also you will have the clinical postings of the third year subject. And I want you to focus on the subjects according to your clinical postings. Now let's suppose you have a medicine posting for one month, right? So I want you to focus reading on medicine for the entire month. See, I'm not expecting you to read 8 to 10 hours a day during your third year. It's enough even if you give just 3 hours per day. That's more than enough. If you're consistent, if you're reading it, if you're dedicating 3 hours daily for, for an entire year, believe me, your clinical skills are going to be so solid that you don't even need a separate coaching or, or a separate drop year to prepare for PG. You can even crack this in your internship attempt. So, my most important pointer for you during your third year is do not skip your clinical postings and take them very seriously because during your third year is when you learn the most because you are not in the stress of the final year exams you are with a free mind now and what happens during your final year you are with the stress that you have 11 subjects in your final year and you won't be able to focus clearly during your clinical postings and everyone will be in a hurry to present a case in and in third year everyone will be in that chill mode so i want you to take the initiative Present as many cases as possible. It's okay even if you make mistakes because the things you learn by making mistakes, you'll never forget them. So what your goal has to be, you, you have to present a case on every system possible. Take the initiative. Even though you're wrong, even, even though you don't know the entire subject properly, still try to present it. You'll learn something or the other by presenting a case. And how do you divide your three hours per day, which I had told you to do, dedicate? Let's suppose today someone has presented a case on GI system. So what I want you to do is go back home and dedicate two hours to read the entire GI system. Not only from medicine, I want you to retrospectively go and read the anatomy, read the physiology, the pathology and also the pharmacology regarding the system. So give one week for each system and try to understand the core concept 
For example, if you saw a case on cirrhosis and you saw a patient has ascites, so your professor has demonstrated you shifting dullness on the patient. So now I want you to go back and read the clinical part of it. Then I want you to read the theory part of it. How does cirrhosis happen? How does ascites happen? The types of ascites, what is the treatment for it? So when you go to the treatment part, you will come across the pharmacology, right? So I want you to go back to pharmacology and read all the drugs. How do the drugs act? Where do they act exactly? What are the side effects of the drugs? And when to give those drugs? And I want you to make try making notes of it. And once you understand the pharmacology, I also want you to read the pathology behind cirrhosis. What does the slide of a cirrhosis look like? And then again go to the physiology part of it. How does the liver function exactly? And once you read the physiology, I want you to even go through the anatomy as well. How is the liver divided anatomically? What is the blood supply? What is the histology of it? So if you study system wise, no matter what kind of question an examiner may throw you, what kind of MCQ an examiner may throw it, you can reverse map it to exactly that subject and answer it accurately. And you don't have to read everything again because you have already gone through it system wise, right? You can either read the standard textbooks or you can go through the video lectures as well. You choose an app, doesn't matter which app because now you're just understanding the concepts. You're not exactly preparing for the rank, need PG rank. Because now your main focus is to gain as much conceptual knowledge as possible and your focus need to be more clinical oriented. If you do this, believe me, if you do this, you will be the master of all these clinical topics. If you have surgery posting, then I want you to focus on attending the OT as well. I want you to learn the instruments as much as possible about all the sutures, all the, you know, catheters, Ryle's tube, whatever is possible. Gain as much information as possible during your clinical postings. That's a huge blunder which I had made and I regret till now. I wish I had focused a little bit more during my clinical postings. I missed an opportunity of learning at that time. And I don't want you to miss it because you'll regret it later during your internship and also during your need PG preparation. So out of the three hours, two hours you have given for whatever clinical posting you are in right now. And the remaining one hour you can either solve MCQs of whatever you have read that day or you can dedicate it to reading your third year third year subjects. So you can alternate it as, as you wish. But two months before your exam is when you'll dedicate entirely to your prof exams because you don't want to neglect them and fail in those subjects, right? So how do you solve the MCQs exactly? You can solve system-wise custom modules. This is going to be a very powerful tool for you to understand how to solve the question from each subject. So pick a system and select all the subjects you have read and try solving the custom modules. So what I want you to do is I want you to give one week for each system. If you re read the medicine part on the first day, I want you to focus on the pathology part the second day. Third day would be for the physiology part. Fourth would be anatomy part. Fifth would be pharmacology part. You can divide it as you wish. And the last two, day two days of the week is when you'll revise it entirely. Revise whatever you have read for the past five days and try to integrate all the five subjects and I want you to solve a custom module on selecting all those subjects. Let's suppose you have read GIT for this week. I want you to select GIT from all the subjects you have read this week and solve at least 30 to 40 questions. That's more than enough. So by doing this, you will get the hang of what kind of questions may be asked and you will know whether you are able to integrate, whether you are able to apply the clinical knowledge, whatever you have learned. So if you start practicing it now, because you have an entire year, right? You have almost... Eight eight months to do this and if you do this system wise you are gonna be the master of clinical subjects not only clinical subjects you're gonna be master of first year subjects second year subjects and what remains for you to study is are only the short subjects which, which you can cover during your internship and you can get your dream rank in internship itself you don't have to waste another year for neat pg preparation so the strategy is simple you need to enjoy your third year you need to attend the clinical posting seriously and you need to prepare according to your clinical postings. So you need to study them system wise and you need to retrospectively map it to your first year subjects as well. And it would be bet better if you make your own handwritten notes which will come in handy for your last minute revision. And what are the sources? You can either refer to any app or you can go through the standard textbooks or even you have free resources available on Telegram or on YouTube. And at the end of the week, I want you to solve the custom modules. So keep strengthening it system wise, keep strengthening your clinical knowledge. And this is going to strengthen your foundation and you're, you're definitely going to crack your need PG during your internship.
So please share this video to your third year friend who is confused how to start preparing for NEET PG and what subjects to focus on. And to, uh, to that friend also who was like me who just came to attend the clinical postings or came to attend the classes for attendance sake. Please mention in the comments if, if you want me to make a video on anything specific. Like if you exactly want me to show how to map it system wise or you want me to show you how to make a notes. I'll try to make it in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe because a lot of interesting videos are on its way. Thank you for watching.